Because of the faith that others had in me, they took their first steps with me. They saw in me beyond a woman of color, an immigrant whose first language is not English, a struggling single mother, and beyond a lack of education. They saw the potential and the abilities in me as a person. Being authentic at work, in, in out in the world, um, you know, just being happy with who I am and, and um, being my authentic self. If it wasn't for our family, uh, things would look very, very different. Hispanic Heritage Month is, is really huge for us. Um, like I said, most of our workforce workforce is Hispanic. Uh, I, I myself grew in a small town in, in Honduras. So, you know, having that, you know, experiencing that, that Hispanic culture and then having the opportunity to come to the United States and to a certain extent, you know, experience the American dream. That's something that, you know, I feel that makes me feel very proud. Eventually, you got to sort of take a chance, take a little bit of risk. But, you know, if people think you can do it, typically they've seen something in you that has given them a good indication that you're going to be successful at it. It's not always about yes, and it's not always about, you know, getting the promotion. Sometimes it's about not getting it. And then what does it mean in the way you respond? And how can you go out and put in the work and learn from those around you to ultimately demonstrate your capabilities so that people recognize what you can do and those doors will eventually open even if it's not kind of the path that you were thinking that they may open on it doesn't matter your background uh or your 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 college training uh if you if you have an aspiration to live up uh, chances are there's an opportunity for it here